All right. Yeah, we're running. Good afternoon. What I'm doing, I hope everybody's safe, by the way. Happy anniversary, Taz man and Mama Taz. Lumberjack Smokestack had a birthday. We got some more stuff coming up, people's birthdays. And have a baby being born, Mr. Kevin. Congratulations. Hope everything goes good. I'm just doing some grinding work on this small custom knife we're doing. I've already started it. I've done a plunge line here. What I do is I set the jig at an extreme angle and I grind that edge off, that corner off. What that does, it takes a lot of wear and stress off the belt. These belts aren't cheap. These are two by 72s. And y'all have seen me do this before. So what I'll do is I'll just show you pictures of the start and then I'll stop periodically and show you the progress of what I'm doing. That way I'm just not making a 30 minute video of me just standing here at the, at the, uh, the old grinder, which y'all seen before. I just take and set this jig at this fixture at an angle, the proper angle that I want. <laughs> What that does is that takes material both ways. It takes material in toward the center line, which I've scribed on this knife, and it also walks the grind line down the blade this way. So I'm gaining grind here and here at the same time. What I want to do when I get close to the center line is leave material for the forge, so I don't want to get it too thin I'd rather finish grind that off down to where I want it later because in the heat treat process, a thinner blade is more apt to warp. So you wanna leave the thickness in it. But I wanna create most of my grind now. So there's a line I'll have to go by, this center line here. And I know where I wanna go with my, my Ricasso here, my plunge line. And I'll keep you updated. So I'll start again and I'll get about halfway down. We'll stop and we'll look at it. All right, it's a little less than half, but that's okay. Let me set that up there. Let me make sure y'all can see this. I don't want, want to do this without y'all being able to see it. Let me zoom in here. Oh, that's out. There's in. Okay. Now you can see what's going on. Okay, you can see I'm a quarter of the way down, and I'm not quite halfway through the, the blade, see? Can you see that scribe line? Uh, yeah, you can. That's the line I'm going up to, but I want to have enough distance down the blade to where I want it to be, so I want both to match up. So it's a process. If I start taking too much down through here without gaining any on top, I will increase the angle this way. That'll allow me to go deeper faster and slow this grind line down. If I was going faster on top, I would decrease the angle, take more off the side than I would across. You see what I'm saying? So let me get back to grinding. That's looking pretty good right there. And uh, we'll snake it on down through there and keep an eye on it. Awesome. Now we're getting down there a little over halfway. And you can see we're almost up to the line. So the angle's going to be about right. By the time I get right to the edge of that scribe line and do the same thing on the other side, I will have... Uh, the right blade thickness for heat 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 treating uh, that will allow me to finish grind. I want to come down here about oh another quarter inch. That will give me plenty of angled blade surface. So by the time I go back and sharpen this blade, it won't be such a a, a radical change from here to the edge. Uh, it's a flat grind. It's not convex or concave. 
could do convex grinding, but I believe that this is a stronger grind. Uh, most knife makers will agree. Will it stay as sharp as a con a concave ground knife? No. Concave ground, a hollow ground, they call. It, it, you can sharpen them a lot easier, and uh, they're razors. I can make this one sharp. Sharp enough to cut anything anybody wants to cut with. Uh, but it... This will, there'll be a this will be a stronger grind. So anyway, let me get back to grinding, and I'll uh, bring you back when we're done with this side. Thank y'all. All right. Let me see if y'all can see me here. Set that on that stool. Give me something to go by. Oh yeah. All right. The reason we're not at the grinder. This is as good a time as any to go over some of the things that knife makers run into when we use uh, repurposed steels, okay? Uh, no fault of ours. Uh, it's just the process you go through when you work with knives or building knives with steels like, like chainsaw bars. Or if you're making Damascus with old steel chains, even with new 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 plate steel, when when you're cleaning them up and you're getting ready to hammer forge them, uh, the heat might not be enough, or there could be a piece of trash between the, the layers when you when you're when you're forging forge welding them. Number of reasons. Even chainsaw bars, they have defects in them. They have places when you get down inside of them, you might not see, or as a, a complete bar, it could have great integrity. Could last for years and you'd never know it. But while I was grinding this knife, I got down to the grind line that I wanted and the thickness of the blade that I wanted to heat treat it. I run into something that I didn't see. What I run into was a delamination. Ruins the knife. So basically what I've got to do is start over. So I've got a pattern and it's half ground, but that's part of it. If you can see this delamination, I'll show it to you. I'll stand behind the camera let you take a gander if you'll see there'll be a line right there that's actually a crack in the steel all the way down right there it goes all the way down that edge right through there nothing i can do about it because i'm to the my line the thickness that i I'm at the line. See that scribed line? That's the thickness of that line. That's what I want. Unfortunately, this will not work. So, I will have to use this as a pattern. Pick another piece of steel. That's all I can do. So, with that said, that happens. But I wanted y'all to see that. So you know what we're doing, what can happen, what what can go wrong. What's crazy when I first started doing this is I would make a complete knife and not see that until the end. Then I would have, oh, between 20 and 150 hours in a knife. Most of the time is under 100 hours. And then find it. And then I'd have to throw the whole thing in the trash and start over. Yeah, that's a shame. And it's more work for me. But, and you can hear it. Don't It don't sound right. It don't have that ring to it. That should have been a dead giveaway. But upon further inspection... I got to finding something that I never knew could be possible. 
this bar was laminating. Yes, it was. And now I'm going to prove it to you. So, let me back this. This is the perfect time for this to happen. This is why we can't use laminated bars. Well, you can if you hammer, hammer weld them. But this is why we can't use laminated chainsaw bars. All right, let's put this thing in the vise. As you can see, I'll hold it up here. Other than the flaw down here, you really can't see anything wrong with that blade. It looks like it's solid steel all the way. But if you look really close and get it in here, you can see the lines. See those lines? Those are laminations. And to show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to take it apart. So, let's do that. First, I'm going to lay it on another piece of steel. And I'm going to make my template first before I destroy my template. And I'm not really going to destroy it. I just want to separate it so you can see what's going on. So, we will stick us out a known bar that's not laminated. And trace this onto it. If you'll give me a second, we'll do that, and we'll move on. Folks, it happens. Nothing we can do. It's part of the game, part of the business. You fix it, and you move on. You can't let it discourage you. It just sets you back a few, a few hours, but no biggie. All right. We'll chunk this thing in the vise, and we'll take a chisel. That right there ought to work. <clears throat> Lock it down, see if you can see that, and you can. We're not going to hurry, uh, we're going to hurry and, and make this not a long video, but I believe it's a necessity, and a necessary video so that you can see what's going on and why I really can't use laminated bars. And I'm so adamant about uh, requesting non-laminated bars. And this is the perfect time to discover that. So let's give this thing a few taps here. There it is. Actually, I'll do them both. Now you can see it. You seen it come apart, didn't you? I know you did. Look right here. Now you can see the gap. Let me focus on what I'm doing here. Well... I'll have to get something a little thinner. No problemo. There we go. Right here. You see that? That's not supposed to be like that. That is definitely something that we don't want to encounter. And I can actually split this and save my template. Mm -hmm. All the way down. That's not going to work. So, I will save that. Still use it for a template, but I'm going to save that so that everyone that ever has a question about delaminated or laminated chainsaw bars, they can look at this or I can show it to them and they can see 
the difference. Yeah. I'm going to mess around here. Just like that. Now, those, that chainsaw bar was made up of three thin bars. Okay? Can't do that. Awesome. 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 So, that's the lesson from the old burly man today. Y'all be safe. God bless you. Watch top now. Wow. Isn't that crazy? You could put that all together. It's like, that's a not, oh, wait a minute. There's lines in that. Yeah, it's laminated. Woo and there was no pins in this. So that tells me that it was probably a Chinese made bar uh, or some off the wall aftermarket bar. I've never done a steel Husky Pioneer Oregon. I've never had seen an Oregon bar like that or any of the other name brand bars. If they're laminated, they got pins in them. Super strong. However, this one didn't and it's still laminated. So, and really the only way to find it is to grind it. Everyone, I love you. Be good. Have a good weekend. Awesome. Moving on.